guys welcome back to my channel so today what i'm going to be doing is testing more primark makeup i went on a teeny tiny shopping spree and i bought a few items to test out for you guys so i'm doing a two-part series because i bought two eyeshadow palettes two blushers lip liner and lip locker and also two eyeliners so today i'm going to be doing more of a nudie look for you and then in my next video i want to do the smoky so let's just delve right in there and show you what i purchased so let's start off with the nude palette which i'll be using today so as you can see just a natural cream palette with the word nudes over it and on the back is your ingredients and obviously how long this palette will last so you get a decent amount of time with this palette you're getting 24 months which is very very good so when you open this palette up this is what you're getting these are your colors right here and obviously on the top of the palette you're getting the word nudes now unfortunately you're not getting a mirror with these palettes but again for the price you're paying which was four pounds it's not a major issue really so i'm just going to take the protective film off of this now the only thing i will say is with these films the glue is so sticky that when you take it off it ruins the foil at each end which is a shame but again it's not a major issue so i'm do, going to do a couple of swatches for you guys just so you can see what they look like so we're going to go for that wood nymph which is a very rich chocolatey color very soft to touch there is a little fallout but nothing too ridiculous so that's what it looks like on the finger and i'm just going to do oh wow I am super impressed with that. I am shook. These are highly pigmented. I mean, look at the payoff you're getting just from one finger swatch. So let's go in there with another one that I'm liking the look of, which is Barely Berry. I'm just going to use a clean finger for this. So that's what it looks like. It's got a little shimmer to it, this one. Again, another nice colour. And then I think I'm going to go in with Caught Red Handed. What I will say about the three that we're swatching, that Wood Nymph is probably, there's more fallout from that one than there is the other two that I've swatched so far. So that's what Caught Red Handed looks like. And we're just going to pop that right in here. How nice are these colours? They are beautiful, beautiful colours. So that's three swatches from the Nude palette. What I'm going to do today is just show you everything I got and then we'll carry on with our tutorials. So again, same situation with the Smoky palette. This one's black with more of a smoke going through it, hence the word smoky. So I'm just going to open this up. Okay guys, so that's that one opened. So these are the colours you're getting right here. I'm liking the look of this blue one right here. And obviously, again, same thing on top as your smoky no mirror. But again, this was £4. What I will say when I opened this palette is there was a little fallout from some of the eyeshadows on the palette here and obviously on the protective film. So again, the eyeshadows don't look damaged. I think this one looks just slightly crumbly in the corner there. But again, it's for me that's not an issue. It's not a major, a major thing. So let's give these ones a swatch. I'm definitely going to go in with the blue one. Right off the bat, that midnight velvet is very, very chunky. Lots of fallout from it as well. And um, so this is what it looks like. And we'll just go in here. It's very powdery but the colour is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful and the pigment is amazing and I'm going to go in with Blood Magic and go in there again another beautiful colour and We'll do Winter Mist, which is more of your lighter colour. Okay, so I will say that the three we've swatched, definitely Midnight Velvet and Winter Mist is very powdery. It's 
So that's just like your nice basic shade. Not quite as pigmented as any of the other ones we've swatched. But again, Midnight Mist and Conclave are sort of like more of your transition colours. So you can oversee that. But beautiful, beautiful colours. So that's what I'll be using in my next video. Hopefully they'll play out well on the eye. So the next couple of things I got were two blushers. This one right here and this one right here. So this one's more like of a corally peachy one, whereas this is more of your nudie burn colour, this one. So again, I think I'll definitely be going for the corally one to stick with our nude palette because it's just more summery and lighter. And I'll use the darker one for when we come to do our smoky. Um, these are a nice little size. Again, they come with your little bit of tape to keep the pot closed. Again, that's another nice thing I like because it means then nobody else has been in testing it out. So it's a nice peachy colour. Yeah, that's pretty. Really spring, summertime look. And when you open it up, this is what you're getting right here. As you can see, it's just a really nice summery, peachy, corally colour. And we'll just show you quickly what the other one looks like. Again, same scenario, you've got your tape over it. So as you can see, this one is darker and more brown compared to this one, which is more pinky peach. So definitely I'm going to be using this one when it comes to my smoky look. What I will say about both these blushes is that they're very, very soft, very nice feeling on the skin and no fallout whatsoever from the blushers. So that's a bonus. And I picked this lip lacquer up and a lip liner to go. So again, I'll be using this today. Um, because I only picked one up. Why I only picked one up when I'm doing two looks, I don't know. Um, so this was two pounds and this was a pound. So again, fantastic. And then obviously we've got our two sets of eyeliners. You've got a nude one and a white one. And these were a pound. Plus you get a sharpener inside as well, which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do now for you guys is I'm going to just tie my hair back and get ready for applying our eyeshadow. Okay, so hair is tied back, ready to go. So we're just going to start delving into our palette. I've also got a little mirror here, so if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm looking in my mirror. So I'm going to take my blending brush from Avon. I absolutely love this brush. It is amazing. And I'm going to go in as a transition, and I'm just going to use this cream little one here. And we're just going to go in the crease with that one on both eyes. Goes on the eye very, very well and feels very, very nice. Okay, so that is that on. It's just a very natural pinky colour. So I don't know if you'll pick that up on camera or not, but it is a nice colour and it blended out really well. So we're going to go in with Barely Berry. Just outer corner and blending that in for both eyes again, like I said. What it will say is there's no fallout when I'm applying to the eye. There is a little kickback when I'm putting the product onto my brush. But again, nothing major. Okay, so that is Barely Berry applied to sort of the outer corners. And I've brought that in half away. So I'm just going to take my Real Techniques fluffy brush. And I'm just going to blend them out a little bit more. They do blend out really well and they're still staying on the eye which is which is good. I would say between the Bailey Berry and the layer one I used, the colours are there's a very slight difference. Um, I wouldn't say they were too much of a contrast. So I'm going to go in with again the next pink one up from Bailey Berry. I can't remember the name of it. I'm, I end up butchering it. And then I'm going to just apply that on the outer corners as well. These are really nice colours, they're working well together, they're blending well together, really nice. So far, 
in one of my videos that I did maybe a few videos back I tested out the Primark highlight pure glow kit and I have to say I was blown away with how pigmented those highlights were I am super impressed and so far with the nude palette I am also super impressed the colors are lovely they apply well they blend well and the colors just look gorgeous so now that I've applied a little bit of that on the outer corner again I'm just going to blend that out with my real techniques brush just to make sure everything is looking up seamless you know me I like everything to look blended And I'm just drawing that colour in as well. I'm just bringing it in. And even lifting up as I go. These are really, really nice. Really, really nice. Now, just for a pop of richness, a pop of darkness, I want to just go in there with Cut Red Handed. I think actually I'm going to change brush for this one. I'm going to use my pointed ended brush and I'm going to go in there with that one. I am getting a lot of kickback off of these ones. It seems to be the darker eyeshadows out of the palette seem to be the more powdery. But we'll see how they apply. Again, just going in with, into the V on the outer corner and no more. That is really nice. Really nice. So yeah, they're powdery in the palette when you're applying them on the brush. But once they're on the eye, there's no fallout at all. You can clearly see there's no fallout on the eye. There's no chunky clumpiness on the eye either, which I was kind of half expecting, especially when I seen how powdery they were when I swatched them. I thought, hmm. But no, they are working really, really well. So again, fluffy brush in and just blending that out. Okay, that is blended out very nicely. Now I'm going to go in with my white brush here. This is again just another fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with Conclave, or is it Conclave? Hang on. Panna cotta I'm going to go in with. And that's just, I'm going to just put in the very middle of my eye there. And I'm just tapping ever so slightly. Wow, that is a lovely colour on as well. Cotta is just lovely on the eye. Really nice. Just gives that little bit of shimmer to the eye. And all I'm doing is just very gently just fluffing all that together. Now, like I say in most of my videos, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't know everything about makeup. This is just how I like to apply my makeup. It's not the right way. It's not the wrong way. It's just my way. So, yeah, these colours are working fantastic. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm really liking how it's looking on the eye at the minute. So, I'm going to go under the waterline and I'm going to take a little bit of Barely Berry, put that under my eye. And I'm going to then take are caught red handed and just place a little bit in that corner. So let's go in with Barely Berry first. And again, just using my little Real Techniques brush. I like this because you get a quite precise line. I don't want to go too overboard because I'm just liking how minimal and natural this look is. Okay. And then I'm going to just clean this off and I'm going to then go in with caught red handed and I'm just going to put a little of that on the outer corners here. Not going very far in at all because I'll be using my fluffy brush to smoke it out. So yeah, just the very corners and then we'll smoke that out. like so the floorboards in this house drive me crazy every time someone walks in the hallway that's all you hear okay so I've just smoked that out so I'm really really enjoying the look of this to be honest this is a very summery look an everyday natural look I am absolutely loving the colours of this 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to put eyeliner in. I think I'm going to go for the more nudie eyeline. So I'm just going to open all that up and I'll be back with you. Okay, so out of the box, this is what they look like. So this is your white and this is your nude. So I'm going to go for the nudie one today. So just opening that up, there's what you've got there. So your typical eye pencil. So let's go in. This is really, really nice. Really nice. Quite creamy, not scratchy. That is nice and just opens up the eye well. I'll give you a little... So that's what it looks like. There's a little bit of chunkiness when you're swatching and I noticed. Don't know if you saw that. But there was a little bit of crumbliness there but on my eye it's looking okay so that's a bonus so i would say yeah these are fab two for a pound you can't complain when i was swatching it there you did get a little bit of crumbliness going on but on the eye they've applied very very nicely i didn't feel my eyes being irritated and it wasn't scratchy which is also good so i think these would be safe to use if you're sensitive because i have sensitive skin and it worked for me Okay, so I'm going to move on to blush for the moment before I apply mascara. So I'm using this Coralie Peach one that we got from Primark. Now, this was like 150 so amazing. So I'm just using my little brush here and I'm just going to swirl that in. Picking up a nice amount of product, I'm just going to tap that off because I obviously don't want to look too overdone. So I'm just going to smile and just go to the apples of my cheeks. That is a really nice colour. That is so nice. I'm just going to put a little bit more on, see how it is for building. I notice here I must have a spot coming up. So yeah, I am liking the colour. It just gives a really nice, healthy, flushed look. Um, definitely nice for going with this summertime look. And it blended really well on the skin. It went on the skin really nice. No fallout whatsoever. No crumbliness. It just applied really, really well. And I'm just liking just the rosy glow it's given me. So next thing for me is I'm just going to put, pop a spot of highlighter on and keeping in with the theme of things I'm going to go for my Pure Glow from Primark. So I think this time I'm going to go for a more golden -y colour because obviously as we all know desert was blinding. So I'm going to go in with just a more neutral shade. So using my Real Techniques brush I'm just going to go in I think with Glimmer which is this one up here and I'm just going to gently pop my brush in I don't want anything too in your face today I want to keep everything very minimal very natural this just gives you a very nice highlight there just a little bit of glow So yeah, I'm going to leave that there because I just, like I says, I just want a nice little sheen just to see that I've got highlight on and just a little bit on my nose and obviously down here. I think a lot of time, girls, and it's maybe not a mistake, it's how you like it, but I've seen a lot of girls with a ton of highlighter on their noses and that does nothing. It just draws attention to the areas that you don't want attention drawn. So yeah, now that highlight's done, I'm going to go in and do my mascara and then I'll be back with you to finish the look off with the lip lacquer. Okay, so this is my lip liner. I've just opened it up, which took me ages. I even had to go and get my husband to try and open this up. So this is just in your nude colour. 
and I can tell right off the bat it's all broken at the top. Mm. No, I can't use that on my lips. It's just too scratchy. I don't know if you can see that. If I'll focus in on or not. But it's just mangled at the top. And it is just... It's just pulling on my lips. I just can't do that. So I'm just going to use one of my own lip liners. Okay, so I'm just going to use my own here. Okay, so this is the lip lacquer here. And this is the doe foot applicator we've got here. It's just like a straight edged one. There's no angle to it at all. So in the smell, there's a little bit of vanilla in there as well as something else. I'm not sure if I... I'm not sure what the smell is. It's not an unpleasant smell, but it's not the nicest one I've smelled either. Nice colour though. Okay. So that is the colour that we've got there. It is a very nice natural nude colour. I am liking the colour. It's lovely. Yeah, very thin in consistency. It does apply well and there's no streaks or anything to that nature. I don't know if this is going to dry down or if it's still going to be more of a glossy type. Um, time will tell. But I'll definitely leave a wee note in the description box to let you guys know how it went. It's not sticky or tacky. I think it is going to dry down. It's, it's definitely looking and feeling like it's going to dry down. But so far, I am absolutely loving this look. The eyeshadows out of the nude palette were fantastic. They blended really well. They went on the eye very well. There was no fallout on the under eye. Certain colours were powdery when you were applying them to the brush or when you were swatching them. Um, but as you can see, the look is just stunning that we've created today. I'll just come in a little bit closer. So yeah, all in all, the nude palette, I am giving that a thumbs up. It's amazing. The pigments were amazing and they go on the eye really nice. The blusher, which was the coral one we used today, I absolutely love that as well. It just gives a really nice, healthy glow to your skin. Eyeliner as well is a really good product. It went on the eye really creamy and it just opens up your eyes. It doesn't close them off, which sometimes your black eyeliner can. But yeah, I'm loving, loving the eyeliner. Um, the lip liner, I'm not a fan of, to be honest. When I opened it up, now it was brand new. It was in its packaging. It was The tip was broken. When I tried to apply it on the lip, it was just really scratching and really pulling. So I would say... I wouldn't bother with that if I were you. If you want to give it a go, that's also fine. And if it works great for you, also fine. But for me, it was a bit of a miss. The lip lacquer, I am loving. I absolutely love the colour. It's a really nice pinky nude. And it just ties in nice with this look that we've got going on. So all in all, the products that I've tried today, I am highly impressed with. The eyeshadows were fab. The blush is really nice. The eyeliner is also a really good product. Lip liner, not so much. And the lip lacquer, I enjoyed. So I hope, guys, you really, really liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And please remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And in my next video, I'll be doing part two where I do the smoky eye. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. And tune in for the next video. And we shall see you there. Mwah. Bye.